10 years ago, Johnny Manziel took over the college football world, but his NFL career was short-lived. So what happened? In 2012, Manziel had a historic season at Texas A&M. He had a miraculous performance to beat number one ranked Alabama in Tuscaloosa and won the Davey O'Brien Award and the Heisman Trophy, becoming the first ever freshman to win either award. He followed that up with another great season in 2013, where he was a first team All-SEC player. Heading into the NFL draft, Johnny Football was a polarizing figure. He ended up getting drafted by the Cleveland Browns with the 22nd overall pick. Some said that he was not tall enough and was too arrogant, while others, such as Skip Bayless, said that NFL teams would forever regret passing up on him and that Johnny Manziel would become bigger than LeBron James in the city of Cleveland. In both of his NFL seasons, Manziel was mainly a backup and only started eight games. He threw for under 1,700 yards and had seven touchdowns and interceptions. After the 2015 season, Manziel was investigated for a domestic violence incident with his ex-girlfriend, which led to the Browns releasing him. In 2018, he came out and said that he had been diagnosed with bipolar disorder and that he was really focusing on his mental health. Since leaving the NFL, Manziel has played with different teams in the Canadian Football League, Alliance of American Football, and most recently played for the FCF Zappers in the Fan Control Football League.